Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome to Tech Yes City. This is Brian Easy coming back to you guys today with an OS optimization for games, okay? So the whole point of this guide is going to be getting all those automatic updates off or getting rid of all that stuff that could possibly cause jittering in games. So I also have my SSD tweak guide and my Windows 7 tweak guide, which I'll put the links in the description below. Check them out and let's get on with it so first of all I want you to go to advanced type so click the start menu click in this little search box advanced system settings click enter and it should bring up this little menu here now on this advanced tab right here so go on to the advanced tab performance and obviously if you want the best performance then click on adjust for best performance but me personally I find that this does not like if all the my custom settings here they don't really make a difference at all okay so if you guys want to copy my custom settings and obviously I think this makes my windows a bit more snap here as well then copy this so here I'm just gonna leave it up here for you guys I'm not gonna go through each and every one I'll just leave up the screen and you guys can have a look so basically the ones that are unticked there are the only ones that are unticked so untick them and let me know what you think the next part is a little bit it was just as important adjust for best performance of programs okay you want to make sure that's ticked and then virtual memory if you're on 16 gigabytes of ram i want you to hit change and no paging file okay and then click ok if you have only 8 gigabytes of ram or less then i probably suggest leaving this on as yeah but if you got 16 gigabytes of ram then you can take this off virtual memory and it'll free up some space on that ssd as well now that's the two important things there let's move on to ms config which is another important one now if you go so click on start menu type in ms config bring this up here so we'll do that again sorry i didn't show up properly so start menu ms config just type that in hit enter and uh, brought up a friggin thing and then hit enter and it should bring up selective startup so you've got this here as you can see here you go selective startup load system services and load startup items because I've customized this okay so I'll show you first in the program section you want to make sure that only the programs you need are loading up okay so for instance I don't load up all this Adobe stuff I don't load up Google update I don't load up my Realtek HD audio manager all this power registration crap from Logitech so I took unticked all them and only I only have my Logitech camera software Intel's uh, user interface software and also Skype and that's all I have okay loading up at startup so I recommend you have a lightweight startup and if you you, you can adjust you can ju adjust it all here so pick the programs that you don't want loading up and untick them and services now this is another important part this part here you want to make sure that there are no if you go to manufacturer tab and you increase that you can just then roll through so you then just scroll through and make sure so that if you look through mine it'll be Microsoft Corporation Intel Corporation you just want to make sure there's no dodgy ones there so I've only got Microsoft Corporation Nvidia Corporation so there's only trusted services running on my computer at the moment uh, Valve is okay Adobe's okay and I'm just going through here and even then I think that Adobe stopped so it's not even running at the moment okay so that only that only starts going when I actually open the program so there's no problems so just go through your services and just check if there's any out of place ones there from any manufacturers and maybe you might want to uncheck them so anyway that's for me guys that's so those two as well now the last part of the guide I'm going to show you here is obviously just configuring programs like Nvidia's so we double click on that click on help and updates and preferences I've automatically so I don't automatically check for updates okay so I've taken that off and I just if I want to manually check for updates I'll just check for new updates so I'll do that probably once I don't know once a week but at the moment I'm having no problems with games and you want to do that for every little program you have running down here preferences my Logitech uh, webcam software check so configure last updated configure again turn on automatic updates I've got that unchecked so turn on basically there's no automatic updating going on so I'm turning off all my automatic updates same with Skype you can go to tools options advanced automatic updates and again there should be an option to turn off automatic updates in Skype so those three things I recommend you do 
And if you have other little programs that use automatic updating, then turn them off as well. Now, Windows Update, I generally find you don't have to turn that off, okay? Because when Windows Update updates, it lets you know that it's updating. So you know that that program is then updating. So Windows Update is actually fine. I recommend you leave that on. Now, let's go on to the last part of the video, which is going to be my flatline theory. And just basically, this is just the way to check. And it's basically a way to check that programs aren't using or aren't doing these big spikes. Because if you're getting big spikes in the next part of the guide, then that can indicate, or well, if that happens in games, that could indicate that, that could be what's causing jittering. So anyway, let's get on to the last part. I'm going to take it with my camera, as the desktop software will actually cause CP will make you know the CP usage won't be accurate so I'm gonna use my camera for the next part and let's get into it okay guys now this brings us to the last part so if you hit control alt delete you should be able to bring up start task manager and now this should bring up a whole I've obviously enlarged this and I recommend you guys enlarge it as well but you'll see here when you first open it up there will be that initial spike so there should be initial spike there, that's normal. But after that, there should be pretty much relatively zero CPU usage. And your RAM should pretty much what I call flatline, okay? So this RAM usage here, memory usage, it should just be a flat blue line, okay? So as you can see coming from the right here, there's a flat blue line there. And just leave this for a little while. Obviously, you can see my cores here. There's no CPU usage pretty much. So there's no, I've got no programs or no updates that are causing problems. So when I start games, my games are going to be using all these cores. So it's great. So I obviously this one here is going to, one of the cores is obviously going to have these little, little, little jitters. That's just obviously this program itself updating. So this program itself is actually using a bit of CPU usage, task manager. But if you are having like big spikes anywhere in between, that would be a program that is using CPU usage. So you might want to check that out and find out what program is causing that. But other than that, there should be uh, there should be pretty much flat or little to none CPU usage. So anyway guys, uh, if there is, so th that's, that's that done. So you can have a look here. So that's pretty much flat as you can see. But if you want to, you can check up here in processes and you can find out what programs are running. As you can see here, I have very little to no um, process is open at the moment so just check that out and yeah that's about it guys so that's obviously this is the best way to check what is getting you know what programs are using what so as you can see here zero percent it just doesn't move so that's what you want guys anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this let's get back to the webcam and the condenser microphone so if my video wasn't too bad, you could probably see that I had zero CPU percent usage across that whole time, except at the start, obviously, when I opened up Task Manager. Now, and you saw the blue line, that was the flat line. So if you guys are getting like big spikes on the CPU usage, then that can indicate that a background program is using resources. And if it's doing this while you're gaming, that will most likely cause jittering, which in the past I had jittering and I hated it. I hate it while I'm gaming. I want the most fluid gaming experience. So if you guys, yeah, uh, have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below or send me a PM if it's urgent. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech Yes City, where everybody here is a yes man and a yes or a yes woman. So depending on your sexuality. Anyway guys, stay tuned for Tech Talk episode 10. It is going to be huge, like mammoth. It's not going to be that huge, but it's going to be talking about second uh, secondhand games killing the industry. And of course, Intel Monopoly. I'm going to talk about those two things. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah guys, uh, peace out for now. Brian Easy. Bye.